We are back with continuing coverage of that deadly shooting at the University of Virginia. Police just gave us an update moments ago. News 4's Drew Wilder was there and joins us live now with the very latest. Drew, what have you learned? Pat, yeah, you saw that breaking news live right here on NBC4 Midday. The suspect is in custody. Police telling us that their suspect, Darnell Jones Jr., has been found and is arrested and charged with six felonies, including three counts of second-degree murder. We've also, just in the last few minutes, learned the names of the three people who were killed here on the campus of University of Virginia last night. We know that Devin Chandler, a second year student from Virginia Beach, was one of the three killed. Lavelle Davis, a third year student from South Carolina, and Deshaun Perry, a fourth year student from Miami, Florida. We know that all three of them were members of the football team. They were shot on a bus that had just returned from a class field trip, not a football team field trip, but a class field trip to see a play in Washington, D.C. We know that there are two other shooting victims. One of them is expected to survive their injury. The other one is in critical condition right now. I can tell you guys that during the press conference, again, that you saw live right here on News 4, there was a moment when police were pulled out of the room and came back in and told the chief of university police that the suspect has been arrested. It was an incredibly emotional moment for all of the law enforcement and medical agencies that were represented in a room. Take, take a listen to the moment that the chief of University of Virginia police found out that the suspect had been brought into custody. We just received information the suspect is in custody. Just need a moment to thank God. <laughs> Breathe a sigh of relief. So you can tell just how emotional that was for Chief Longo. He and a lot of his staff have been through a lot here at the University of Virginia over the last few years, and you could really get a feel for just how impactful that was that that man is now off of the street. He also went into a little bit of Jones's past, saying that somebody not affiliated with the university had earlier this fall reported to the university that Jones had a weapon on campus. It wasn't associated with any particular threat. There was no particular threat made, but it had been something that had risen to uh, to human resources, to student resources here at the University of Virginia. Police being very forthright about that, saying that is part of their investigation. But as of right now, there doesn't appear to be any indication that there was any information that this tragedy was going to happen or that Jones was going to shoot somebody here on the campus. Uh, but a lot of people here at UVA and, and really across the state and, and across the entire East Coast for all of the families. Thankful that Jones is under arrest and we'll certainly have much more onto the investigation into why he opened fire on those students throughout the day. Pat. All right. Uh, Drew Wilder, thanks so much. Many um, breathing a sigh of relief there in Charlottesville this morning. Dominique Moody has been in Charlottesville all morning. Dominique, describe uh, the mood and atmosphere on the campus that you've been able to see since you arrived this morning. Absolutely, Pat. We can tell you that there definitely was a large police presence, you know, really as soon as we got there within the four o'clock hour going all the way up until the daylight hours. And we can tell you that there was a shelter in place as we were on campus. But about an hour ago, the university announced that they had lifted that shelter in place. Now we saw investigators weaving through different parts of Cold Breath Road using canine officers to search through that road and along the side of the road. A part of the investigation centered around a chartered bus. We now know that that bus was a part of this investigation where that shooting took place. That's right along next to Ruffin Hall in the parking lot on that road. We also saw officers going in and out of the bus as they tried to work to find clues and collect evidence that could help with an investigation, but also help to try to find the, sus the suspect. Now, multiple officers from the university's police department, Charlottesville police and state police work together to cover and close off different parts of campus. We didn't see a lot of people on the street between the four o'clock to 630 hours. Most mostly it was police officers and by daybreak officers were still searching for that suspect. We also had a chance to speak with a student about this. Let's take a listen to what he had to say. At, at first, it was kind of like through the grapevines you were hearing people were shot. You knew it was like over at the A school. Um, so I went in and immediately checked in on everyone because there's a lot of dorms right over there. 
I heard the massive police response. It's definitely going to take a little bit because usually there's drunk kids flooded here every weekend and having that sense of security is going to take a while to come back. And the university, they actually canceled classes today and they are offering counseling services for all of their students 24 hours a day. Of course, as they continue to go through this event, now knowing that three student athletes have been killed, two others injured. But Pat, we can tell you, very emotional throughout the day as we were on campus. All right, Dominique Moody. Thanks so much, Dominique, reporting live from Charlottesville. And stay with News 4 and NBC News for updates. As the situation there develops, we'll have more reaction uh, to the suspect's arrest and the death of three UVA football players.